Let's look at some more orbital shapes and orientation. So if I ask you which orbital has the most radial nodes, the 4f, the 3d, or the 2s, what would your conclusion be? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at some possible arguments. A, 4 is the highest value of n that we have, so it should have the largest number of radial nodes. B, d orbitals, L equal 2, have the largest number of radial nodes. Or C, radial nodes are n minus 1 minus L, so 2s has 1 radial nodes, while the others have none. Think about those possible explanations and make another selection. We're talking about orbitals in terms of their shape and the number of nodes and their orientation. Orbitals are described by three quantum numbers, n, l, and m sub l. n gives you the overall size and energy, l gives you the shape, and m sub l an orientation. Now, what we want to know for this case is where and how are the nodes oriented? Well, let's look at nodes. Remember, for angular nodes, they go as the value of l. So if L is 0, there are 0 angular nodes. An s orbital, L equals 0, has 0 angular nodes. n minus 1 gives you the total number of nodes, the angular plus the radial nodes. So the values of n and L combine to tell you what's happening with the nodes. If you understand that there are angular nodes slicing up space, that pretty much tells you about the shape and orientation of the orbital. So let's look at the nodes for this case. What we have, the total number of nodes are n minus 1. So the total number of nodes here are 3, 4 minus 1, or 2, 3 minus 1, or 1. So there's three nodes here, two nodes here, one node here. What kind of nodes are they, radial or angular? Well, L tells us if they're angular or not. L is the total number of angular nodes when L is 0, that's S, there are no angular nodes. When L is 2, that's a D, there are two angular nodes. When L is 3, that's an F orbital, there are three angular nodes. So now we can easily tell what's going on. Remember, there's three nodes in the 4F, but they're all angular. So there are no radial nodes in a 4F orbital. The 3D, there's two total nodes, n minus 1, but they're both angular. Again, no radial nodes in the 3D. The 2S, there's one node. S equals 0, so the value of L is 0. So there are 0 angular nodes. So that one node must be a radial node. So no radial nodes, no radial nodes, one radial node. The 2S has the largest number of radial nodes.